Hey James, my name is Erin. I'm with Duff Digital Marketing and you had spoken with my partner and husband Rob on Facebook. So as promised, I'm shooting you this short video just to give you a few tips on how to help grow your business online. And I will keep this short, but if by the end of the video you can tell that that is certainly something that we specialize in and that's something that you're interested in doing for your business, please reach out to us and we can chat. And if not, no worries. I hope you're able to take these tips I'll give you and put them into action. The only thing I do ask if you don't mind would just be to give me some feedback on this video and let me know if it was helpful. But the three things that we'll be going over are going to be content, citations, and backlinks. So first up is content, and that's anything you can see on your site here. It does include the words, but also the pictures and what the pictures are saved as. And Google wants to see 1500 words on the homepage of a website. But within those 1500 words, that gives you all the opportunity to be able to integrate in keywords that people are searching when they're looking for your services. So my suggestion with your website would definitely be to get some more content on there. Um, we obviously want to appease Google by having those 1500 words so they will rank you. Um, but also, as I had mentioned before, those keywords are a huge factor as well. And that's going to help out a tremendous amount if your goal is to get ranked on Google. So next up is citations, and I just did a quick search here, and typically when you get your results, this is the first thing you'll see. This is called the map pack, and citations have a lot to do with that. So a citation is basically your business name, address, and phone number listed in various directories throughout the web. And when I say directory, I mean things like Facebook, LinkedIn, Yelp, Yellow Pages, really anywhere else that will allow a business to enter those details. So you would want to check out where your competitors are being listed and you want to grab those listings for your business. But then you want to double, triple, quadruple where you're found. So for instance, if your top competitor has 10 directory listings, you want to grab those 10 and then you want to add another 20, 30, 40. That's going to have you completely dominating them in that space, but it does also help you to rank high on the maps here. So moving along to backlinks and backlinks have a lot to do with this section. This is called the organic section and the way backlinks work is there is a website out there that has a link to your site and it's pushing power to your site, but it's also potentially driving traffic to it, but not all backlinks are created equal. So let's say that you did some work for someone who owns an ice cream shop and they've decided they're going to take a link from their site and push one back to yours but their link is going to be all about ice cream. So it's not gonna be very helpful. You would wanna get links from other electricians or electrical contractors that send a link back to your site and that will signal to Google that that is the industry that you're in. That's gonna be a lot more powerful but also more unique in Google's eyes because it is relevant to your industry. And this is one of the tools that I use just so I can give you a visual representation. Um, so it's not showing any data for your site, um, but here's one of the competitors. So it's showing they have seven referring domains, which are giving them 32 backlinks, getting them found for 10 keywords. And all of that's driving about two people to their site per month, which still isn't great. Um, but that kind of goes to show you that you wouldn't have a very difficult time beating out your competitors in your area. So let's take a look and we'll see uh, what keywords they're using here just so we can kind of get some ideas. So uh, Sanford Electric Company, that would be a great one as uh, electricians, Sanford NC would be even better because it's listing that service or industry and then it's listing the specific location that this company is trying to target. You can target multiple different locations. You just, of course, want to make sure that that stays within your service area. When, so when someone does come across you in their search results, they'll actually be able to use you because you are close enough to them. Um, and I'm not going to bore you and have us go through each one of these keywords, but I do hope that this at least kind of gives you an idea of the types of things that you would want to integrate into that content on your site. And truly, in order to beat out your competition, you just want to make sure that you're being found in a lot of the same places they are. Um, but then again, as we spoke about earlier, also making sure that you're always adding on to that. That way you're far surpassing your competition because that is the kind of thing that gets you on that first page of Google. But that's all that I have for you today, James. I do hope that this video was helpful. And if you'd like to know more about Dove Digital Marketing and how we can help grow your business via your online presence, please contact us. We would love to talk to you. But thanks again for your time, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.